Yo, yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Fro Thizzle. And today, I'm going to be talking about the 2019 Spanish film, The Platform. So ain't nothing to it, but to do it. Here we follow a guy named Goreng who unknowingly volunteers to be in a brutal program. People wake up on random levels after spending a solid month on each level and some are way worse than others. The prisoners in this film can find themselves on level 2 and the very next month on level 200. Everybody is forced to eat the leftovers from the level above them and if you're on level 100 or lower, high chances are you're not going to be able to eat. Goreng vows to find the answers to the organization that's keeping them all trapped inside as he goes along a rather messed up psychological horror trip. I'm a sucker for a plot like this and I thought the set design was not only fantastic but the main anchor for me that kept me immersed in the film. There are deeper metaphors and ideas revolving around society etc. The sound design and the effects that are used when people are eating the nasty leftovers, I did find a bit hard to stomach at times, but definitely a hats off to the sound department. There's a creepy old guy named Trimagasi that Goreng meets on his first day. And there's some bizarre but quite funny dialogue between the two, mainly involving the word obviously. Trimagasi gives Goreng the basics here and there, like one of them being don't talk to the people below you or above you. Every person in the platform is allowed to carry one personal item with them. Goring brings a book with them, Don Quixote, and Trimagasi, who we've established already as a little bit loopy and quite psycho, has brought a sharp knife with them. And we can already feel the tension and bad news coming for Goreng. Speaking of which, we also find out that Trimagasi and quite a few others in the prison have had to resort to cannibalism. And there's a really messed up sequence where ultimately Trimagasi has Goreng tied up to a bed and the old man cuts a piece of flesh out of Goreng's leg. Thank goodness he doesn't eat the piece, but definitely a harrowing experience for Goreng. Goreng gets saved by a lady named Miharu who kills Trimagasi. Now Goreng has been sympathetic for Miharu before this happens. We're introduced to her as a woman who's searching for a daughter. She's checked out with a blank stare and she kills anybody who harms her. Miharu doesn't kill Goreng because he's actually one of the rare prisoners that cares for her, if not the only prisoner. Trimagasi does pop up here and there as a ghost for the remainder of the film, and I know that can sound goofy to some viewers, but it worked for me due to how strong I thought the performance was from the actor, Zorion Aguilera. I know I'm probably saying that name wrong, but I wanted to shout out the actor because I thought he did a wonderful job with the screen time he was given. Halfway through the film, we see the lady that sent Goreng into the platform, Imugori played by Antonia San Juan. And I thought she did a really good job playing a cold-hearted woman that doesn't truly understand the horrific nature of what's going on inside the platform. She knows obviously well enough, but when she actually volunteers to go inside, she quickly finds out how dire and how bleak and deadly this environment is. There's a period of time where her and Gorang are bickering back and forth, her dumbass brings her dog inside the platform, and all of the viewers, me included, know nothing good is about to happen to this dog. The dog ultimately gets eaten by Miharu, Imagori becomes a shell of herself, and after realizing the full extent of her participation in the platform, she ultimately kills herself. There's one character that I really enjoyed, Baharat. He came across as panicked but genuine to me at the same time. He bands together with Goreng and the both of them come together with the plan to bring along a fancy piece of dessert or food and go all the way to the very bottom as a form of protest and to bring that dessert all the way back to the top. 
to pretty much disrupt the overall system and the rules that are set upon. By the time they reach the very near bottom, they're both exhausted and bruised up. They discover Miharu's daughter hiding underneath the bed, and the piece of dessert that they were going to save as the protest, they eventually do give over to the daughter because they realize she hasn't eaten in what is assumed to be quite a long time. Baharat is hesitant at first because he's put his faith into this dessert as the form of protest. So Garang does wake up to find Baharat has slit his own throat. And that messed me up because I really like the character of Baharat and his determination with helping out Gorang with disrupting the platform. I will say, Baharat does get a pretty fucked up introduction, and you know what I mean if you've seen the film, but there's a moment where he throws a rope above a level, and he's climbing, but the people above take a shit on his face. I will admit, this part did almost clock me out of the movie, but I am happy that I stuck with it. Gorang takes Miharu's daughter, reaches all the way to the very, very bottom, and gets greeted by Trimagasi's ghost again. The old man tells him that the key is the little girl, and that his job is done from here. Goring places Miharu's daughter on the platform, walks away with Trimagasi, and we see her get lifted all the way to the very top floor, very speedy. Now, my biggest personal nitpick with the film are the answers that I wasn't given. I am seeing that the ending is left for the audience's interpretation, and I can see both sides, but this film did leave me with quite a few questions. I also caught part two that just came out a few days ago, and the same questions that I had for the first film, I felt weren't answered in the second either, so it does leave me feeling cold when I think about it. But for the most part, I really enjoyed this movie. The overall moody feel, the wonderful set design, Ivan Masagu does a great job as our main character, Goreng, and I felt really bad for him while he's going through this torturous mental and physical battle for survival. The acting is solid all across the board, Zorion Aguilar being the most memorable for me. It's a dark and messed up watch, but I found myself enjoying a chunk of it. I'm going to give the platform a 7.5 out of 10. And that's it, y'all. It's your boy, Fro. What do you think about this film? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Not your cup of tea? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. In the meantime, between time, I'm on to the next review. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Fro.